Here is our setup. My mom won't let me pull out of the garage. So we have to wait for her to come back. But then after that, I'm driving. So she's concentrating. I'll say welcome back, fruit snacks. I can talk. We're off to make cookie deliveries. Yep. I'm a really crappy cameraman and um And it's gonna be even worse if you get anxious when I drive. Yeah, and for literally no reason. Okay, which way do I go? Where are we going first? Towards Nana and Grandpa's. I am I'm a horrible backseat driver as well. She gets scared for no reason when I'm driving. It's like she doesn't trust me, but I've been driving for three months. It's not that I don't necessarily trust you, it's that I don't trust, trust other people. You don't trust my instincts against other people. Not yet, yes. Getting there. So do you want to talk about something so that it's not so boring? What do you want to talk about? I have no idea. What do you want to talk about, Elise? No either. I'm going to turn this down just a smidge in case they have like a commercial for someplace local. We don't need people coming to get us because it's just like crazy cuckoos. Oh, by the way, I ripped my pinky toe. All the way off? No, just a little bit more than it was. Uh oh, that's unfortunate. And you know what's funny about it? You were so worried about it getting stuck on a sock that I caught it on my finger while I was trying to put a sock on. Mm. Yeah. So like a few weeks ago, she thought she was being sneaky and she, I was working on. I didn't think I was being sneaky. I didn't want to be sneaky. Yeah. So I was working on the computer on a meet and she was editing for Vlogmas. And so she like didn't want to be seen by, by meet. So she ran out of the, I'm working out of the guest bedroom, which is also where she edits. Um, and she just nailed her foot. Like. It sounded like she broke a toe. Probably and, did. I couldn't move it for a couple days. Yeah. And then um, it was like... Blood everywhere. Um, keep going. Keep going. Damn. Well... Oh, my God. See how much I freaked out? Yeah. And I literally was doing exactly what I was supposed to be. We're driving over a river right now. But I won't tell you which one. It goes through a lot of cities. Dad. Hey guys, so moral of the story, I'm a good driver and my mom just doesn't trust me. We're back. Yeah, and I'm driving on the highway and my mom doesn't want me to drive on the <laughs> Yeah, highway. we're not driving on the highway. Why? Because I'm not comfortable. Mom, I, mom. I know. It'll be my third time driving on the highway. I have to learn somehow. They're not going to take me back on the highway and drive in school. I know. judgment. What? I said that was actually pretty nice despite my judgment. Mom. I know. I can drive good when you're not freaking me out. Okay. We are going to end up making a right turn. Okay, well I'm not going to switch lanes on the curve. Good idea. So this road makes me a little bit nervous for you only because like I don't remember exactly where it is that we turn. I feel like you're going too fast for these turns. Just me. It's just, it's just me. Freaking out. <laughs> She's doing fabulous. Um, you're probably gonna have to do a roundabout. That's fine. Okay. I can do roundabouts. Car. Uh. I'm not gonna hit the car. Chill out. She's an amazing driver. I can go a lot better than I think I can. you get to do? The big hill. Oh. oh, did they even see it? Did I mess it up? I have no idea, but... You're going way too fast, though. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. That was below the speed limit. <laughs> I tried doing this with Sniff and Bocce. He doesn't have his foot on the brake at all. I know, it's very fun. Yeah. <gasps> oh.
kids live in Wisconsin, you know about roundabouts. If you do not live in Wisconsin, you, you might, not. might not know about roundabouts. It's this really scary looking thing right it's here. It's literally not even that scary. And there's it's not like, scary if you learn how to drive right, stop because this lady's coming through. It's a yield, I know. Like, oh my god. You have to wait for all these cars and then like hope that you they wait for you too. But I did it. You did it. Mm. Woo! Cause it's not scary if you learn how to drive in a roundabout. Like you weren't taught how to drive in a roundabout. I was not. So I can understand how it would be a little scary for you, but they taught me how to do it in driver's ed. Yeah, and I had to learn when we moved here. And that's actually one of the easiest roundabouts in our area. A lot of them are like four lanes and they're really scary. But they're supposed to be not scary because they're supposed to help traffic flow. Right. And so you don't have to wait to turn right or turn left or whatever. But you're also only supposed to go, what, 15 miles per hour in them? And a lot of people, people don't do that, go way faster. And I've also learned that it's illegal to do a roundabout if there's a semi-truck in, in the roundabout. Because as a car or a minivan, you do not have a chance against a semi in a roundabout. <laughs> and I take up like all four lanes. Yeah, I've like I've witnessed it. I witnessed a pickup truck and a semi, and the pickup truck was in somebody's front yard. So that's the Taco Bell that's that we did our Bell. that we did our car picnic at. Your what? It's a mukbang. It's literally eating and talking to the camera at the same time. That's, that's all it is. That's a thing? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people do it. Hmm. It was really popular in like 2018. We've gone over two other times. That's what I'm saying. It goes through a lot of things. Ooh, it's like all of a sudden I need my sunglasses again. Do you need your sunglasses now? Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. I'm fine either way. See you next time.